now we'll work on the percentage format let us select the cell shift down arrow key control 1 which opens the format cells we can choose the percentage format here and choose the decimal places which we like and click on ok the other option to bring the percentage format is this icon of percentage if we click on this now our cells are in the percentage format so if we type any person any numbers you will see that percentage is automatically appears the percentage symbol automatically appears in the selected cells so let's write 15 let's type for 20 let's type 40 let's type 50 so that's the function of the percentage format that you select the cell you type the number the percentage symbol would appear automatically you can also choose the decimal places right now it's in the zero decimal places if you want to add two decimal places and click OK you can see that two decimal places is added next is the fraction let's select the cells shift down arrow key press control 1 format cells select fraction choose the type of fraction which you want to use in the cell I choose the up to one digit and click on OK so now if I write 0.5 you will see that uh, it would appear in the fraction format see point, it's half so if I write 0.25 it's in the fraction form 1 by 4 if I write say 0.75 3 by 4 if I write 0 0.60 3 by 5 if I write 0 0.2 it's 1 by 5 so that's the function of the fraction format next is the scientific format we select the cells shift down arrow key control 1 to bring the format cells select scientific from here and select the decimal places 2 is ok so now if I type any numbers like 4 6 and 8 8 8 8 9 you can see that the numbers are in the scientific format if I write 1 2 3 if I write 90 if I write 1 if I type now 90 many zeros so that's the scientific format it represents the number in the exponential notation next is the text format we again select the cells shift down arrow key next to bring the format cell dialog box we press control 1 we select the text we click OK now if we type any numbers you will see that the numbers are not in you know number format it's in a text format uh, 12,060 some more zeros you will see that the warning you know symbol is also there in each every cells you uh, let's see the number in this cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe so there is one more you know warning in the in text format text format cells are treated as text even when a number is in the cell the cell is displayed exactly as entered okay so these numbers are in the text format we cannot perform any calculations with it suppose if I if I use a simple formula of addition and if I want to add cell number J3 and J4 and I use the formula equal to J3 plus say J4 you won't see that the calculation is being performed so that uh, text format restricts the calculations now we'll work with the special format we select the cells shift down arrow key and next we press control 1 format cell dialog appears and we select special from here so with the special you can use for the type of you know numbers which you will be entering in these cells whether it would be zip code or phone number or social security number whatever numbers you enter in these cells it would up, uh, it would show us in a these types of formats so suppose if we select the phone number and click ok now if I suppose type a number over here whatever is, this is a, just a random phone number and I click enter you can see that number is appears with two brackets and a hyphen 
So if I type some more, you know, phone numbers, say this, you can see that it is automatically taking in the phone number format. So that was the use, or that was the feature of the special format cell.